Hey guys, it is Brandon Baum here. Now, I have partnered with the lovely people over at Adobe to bring you a full tutorial series on how I created my latest post, Mobile Bartender. Now, to create the main effect in this video of the liquid pouring out my phone, I had a friend from off-camera feed a tube between my phone and my hand. Then on cue, he released the supply of juice down the tube, feeding it out into the glass. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how I use Adobe After Effects' content-aware fill tool to remove my runner and the tube from out of shot. So, of course, we're going to start the process by taking our footage and making a new composition with it. We're then going to scrub to the section where we want to remove something and create in and out marks between it. For this tutorial, I'm just going to start from here and then end it just as the hand covers up the tube. Now, the first step in our process is telling the content aware fill tool what we actually want to remove from the scene. So to do this, we need to isolate the tube and the runner's t-shirt from out of shot so we can tell the software what we want to remove. To do this, I'm going to use the rotor brush tool, but if you want to use a standard mask, that will still work. Making sure I've got the rotor brush selected, I'm going to come in here and start selecting the sections of our footage that we don't want in the shot. So I'm just going to select around the t-shirt and the tube, and then once I'm happy, I'm going to let the software do its thing by hitting play. I can see here it's adding some of the surface on. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key to remove a section of it. Perfect. So now we're at the end. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is give ourselves a little safety margin just for error. I'm just going to go onto shift edge and increase it to 100%. Then we're going to want to soften the edges by going up to our feather and increasing it to 30. Great. So now that we've got our selection, the next thing that we want to do is invert this mask. So we're just going to select on this little checkbox up here, invert foreground slash background. And then we're going to go to our shift edge and add a minus in front of the 100. Perfect. So we've now set up all the information that we need to give to the content aware fill tool for it to work its magic. So next Next up, you want to come up to window and make sure you've got content aware field selected. And once you do, you'll see it on the side just here. I want to change my alpha expansion just to 25%. I'm going to make sure my fill method is on object and make sure my range is on work area. And then lastly, we're just going to hit generate fill layer. Perfect. Now the content aware field tool is finished. We're just going to take this PNG sequence and drag it below our main layer and see what it's created. Amazing. So that's done a great job, but there is one little section where it hasn't done it just perfectly. And that is around the border of the foam. So to fix this, we're going to take our main layer. We're going to duplicate the layer. We're then going to go to the effects control and then just remove the current effect in there. We're then going to go back up to the rotor brush tool again, double click on the layer, and this time only select on the border of the phone. So I'm just going to hold on command to make my brush a bit smaller and I'm just going to go along this black outline. Perfect. Let's just take it to here. So on this one, because it's such a small area, it's looking like I'm having to go frame by frame repainting it on. So now we're finished, we're just going to go back into our main composition and we'll see that we have the corner of the phone now built back onto the screen. Then when we put everything we've just done all together, finally, we have this. Make sure to check the link in the description for the full playlist where you can find out how all the other elements came to life. So guys, I'll see you on the next one.